Hey, what's up? I'm Maikus. I threw my Vidme hat over there. Anyways, welcome to my channel. Today I'm Sammy Wiseauing the frick out. So I'm gonna give you a Sammy Wiseau review. And if you don't know what Sammy Wiseau is, <laughs> Oh boy. Sammy Wiseau is kind of my alter ego. I guess it, it kind of explains itself. Oh hi, Mark. We're gonna be talking about a debut EP that came out a month ago by The Caps, and if you don't know, The Caps is on my live list. And you know, I'm, like like Tyler Joseph says, I, I probably should stay inside my house. Instead of go outside in the world, since I don't want to go outside. <laughs> I just revealed how bad my music taste is. Anyways, my friends know who these guys are, so I kind of wanted to go to one of their concerts blind and see if I liked their ear flavors or not. But, you know, obviously that's not the case, and I heard their debut EP, Spent Not Satisfied, which I think, I have to say, is a, a blended assortment of influence. The 50s bop, it has some garage, it has some pop punk, it has... Uh, a good amount of ska, and it's kind of blended all with the Caps' actual sound. And if you don't know the pun, well now you do. <laughs> I heard this EP a month ago, you know, spent not satisfied. The first track, the title track, it starts off with that heavy pop punk flavor with their actual sound. That's how it starts off and you're like, okay, th this sounds promising. As you listen to the EP and go through, you know, the garage songs, which is two and four, and then the ska songs, which is three and five, and then you hear the last track, which is a slow, calm song that is five minutes. But you're just like, okay, this is a pretty solid EP. With that being said, Whistleblower track two is more of a garage-like song with the 50s bop in there, along with the Caps actual sound, obviously. So there's a lot of flavors going on, and this song is definitely a bop. It goes from pop punk bop to a very a more blended yeah. sound, and then it goes into Teen Night, which is very ska. You know, you just want to skank to work towards- is that what those dance that where that dance is called. I'm not doing it. I'm I'm not wearing Jack Skellington pants. I'm not. Got what it's called, you know, when you like flail your legs instead of mosh and you kind of look like an idiot. That's what I'm talking about. Teen Night has that vibe to it. Then he was living in the countryside, not the city, is more of a if you're listening to Joyce Manor in Basement, this is like a song that you should definitely add to your playlist kind of song. And then it goes into Camp Co, which brings back that ska vibe, and then it goes into Worth the Wait. I think Camp Co and Worth the Wait do synergize well. I do think the ending tracks do synergize more than the other tracks together, but that's my opinion. Like the transition's very smooth between track five and six. Obviously the transitions are quite smooth in general, just five and six definitely have smooth transitions. Like this is not Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco, but you know, five and six are quite fully a do. <laughs> So that, that's just kind of my tired opinion of the Caps debut EP, Spent Not Satisfied. I have to give it a 4.4 .4 out, out of 5 because that's how I rate the EP's not albums. <laughs> that's just my opinion of this blended uh, masterpiece yeah. of EP-ness. If you want to check it out, like I said, fans of the Joyce Manor, the, the, the Ska, and all those kinds of bands, you will definitely find some enjoyment listening to this EP. You can find it on Bandcamp and YouTube, to my knowledge. Anyways, yeah, peace out, hug a tree. I hope you minion children enjoyed this. So now, now time for the Airheads review. Yes, I got an Airheads with this album. Um, it is Blue Raspberry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still, I'm still afraid to play this vinyl. I, I still am. I don't know if it's gonna mess up my needle or something. Oh boy. Anyways, yes, airheads are vegan. I looked it up. I never had an airhead since I was a kid though. Or when I was 13. I don't remember the last time I had an airheads. But it was a long time ago. And with me saying like numbers like 13 or before that, you know, it was more than five years ago since I had one of these. So this is Blue Raspberry Airheads. Uh, as a review bar would say, going in. This is so hard to eat. <laughs> 